Finally, some more TIG welding content. Today we're gonna fit and weld some socket welds. Just a fitting that has a big enough hole that the pipe that you're using can slide right into it. Just like this T that I have here. This pipe is able to slide in, it'll eventually hit a point where that socket stops, and that is your socket weld fitting. It comes in a different shapes and sizes like T's, 90's, 45's, flanges, all the flanges and fittings that you could think of in a socket weld form, they make them. And this is the isometric symbol that you'll see for those types of fittings. It is a simple fillet weld. It's a little bit more complicated because it's pipe. I notice a lot of welding schools don't necessarily teach socket welds because if you can structurally weld, say TIG for example on a 2F, and you can do a 5G weld with TIG all the way out, then a socket weld should not be a problem. However, a lot of welders don't come across it in school and then they get thrown a bunch of socket welds right off the jump because it is an easy weld to make. But we gotta make sure that we fill it properly. Depending on what the code asks for, as far as weld size, you need to be paying attention to your fillet weld throat. That is the distance and the depth from your weld face to your weld root. That's your theoretical throat, then you have your effective throat and then your actual throat. And this all depends on the type of fillet weld that you throw in here. What we're gonna do with our TIG welding process is we're gonna throw a good root pass in right here, make sure we get good fusion into it. For some socket welds, you may not need a bunch of filling to get in here. I've dealt with socket welds that are super duper thick and need multiple, multiple passes and some are just single pass welds. But most of the time it's a root and at least a hot pass. And a lot of welders will come in and weld that and then get something like this for a weld. It's really dished out. The distance from the weld face to the root is a lot less, so it doesn't necessarily have the strength that the QC might be looking for. A lot of times they're looking to see something at least flush right to the edge of that, but without getting undercut on those two pieces. A little reinforcement probably doesn't hurt, but that's what we're going to be shooting for today when we do this socket weld.